Hi, welcome to this tutorial on hypothesis testing for the binomial distribution. Now hypothesis testing is being able to make a decision on whether a particular model or situation is likely to be true or false. And what I'd like to do is show you this example here. Is a normal six-sided die fair when one six is thrown in 24 throws? Now this is a binomial model. I can define a random variable, let x be the random variable, number of sixes thrown in 24 throws. It's a binomial model because we've got a finite number of trials, 24, and there's two outcomes. You can either get a six or not a six, and assuming that the probabilities are independent and remain constant, then that probability p gives us the binomial model. Now the question is, what is p? If this die were fair, then p would be equal to 1 sixth. And we'll just write that over here. p would equal 1 sixth. And this situation we're going to call the null hypothesis, that the die is fair. And the notation we use for the null hypothesis is h with a little subscript 0 or o. This is often pronounced H0 or HO for the null hypothesis. And that is that the die in this case is fair, so therefore the probability of getting a 6 would be 1 6. Now if the die were fair, then I'll write up here the expected number of 6s that we would get. Well if there's a probability of 1 in 6, then if I throw the die 24 times, then it will be 1 sixth of 24, which is 4. So I'd expect 4 sixes. Now, if you threw a die 24 times, yes, you might get 4 sixes, but I'm sure you could find yourself getting more than 4 sixes or less than 4 sixes. Now, in this particular example, we've only got one six. Now I'd expect to get somewhere around the four sixes, maybe three or five sixes, but when I get, say, two sixes, or in this case one six, I'm going to suspect that maybe the probability is not one sixth, but less than that. So we have what is called the alternative hypothesis, and the notation for that is H, with a little subscript 1. And the alternative hypothesis is that the probability p for this example is that the probability of getting a 6 is less than 1 6 because we only got it once rather than the expected four times. The problem comes though in making the decision of when we are going to decide that there's a cutoff point when getting a 1 or a particular number is going to make this unfair. And that cutoff point is often referred to as a significance level. And you'll see this written in many questions. And in this one, we're going to test this at the 5% level of significance. And what this means is that we're going to reject the null hypothesis, reject HO, if the probability that the number of sixes thrown turns out to be less than or equal to one, that that probability, given that HO is true, that the die is fair, or we could say that X follows a binomial, 24, 1, 6, so assuming that the die is fair, if the probability of throwing one or less sixes turns out to be less than or equal to the significance level, which in this example is 5%, 0.05 as a decimal, then what we'll do is reject HO. 
will reject HO and assume that the die is likely to be unfair. So what we need to do now is just work out this probability. So I'll come down here and we'll work out then the probability that x is less than or equal to 1 given this situation, that HO is true. I could write that in. I'm just going to write that given that HO is true. OK, so I'm assuming that die is fair. So to work that out, I'd have to work out the probability that x equals 0 plus the probability that x equals 1. And I'm assuming that you're familiar with working out binomial probabilities. If not, just go back to my tutorials on evaluating binomial probabilities. However, the probability x equals 0 is 24c0. Then you've got the probability of success, which is 1 sixth, occurring no times. And then you've got the probability of failure, not getting a 6, is 5 sixths and that would occur 24 times. So that's the probability x equals 0 and now we just need the probability x equals 1. So that's going to be 24c1 then it's going to be 1 sixth to the power 1 multiplied by 5 sixths to the power 23. And if you work that out you'll find you get 0 0.0729 and so on. Now, that's a little over 7%. So that is greater than the 5%, the significance level for this particular example. So what does that mean? Well, it means that we do not reject HO. We accept it. So we'll just write down here that accept HO. And what that means is that there is evidence okay, to suggest that the die is now still fair. Okay? So we need to write that in, suggest that the die is fair. Okay? Now I do stress it is evidence to suggest. Okay? We still can't really guarantee that the die is fair, okay? It's only according to this particular probability. We might have had just a fluke, all right? Okay, of just getting the 1 6. Anyway, so that brings us to the end of this example, and I will be doing more examples, and um, I hope you'll look at them because they can vary, all right? In this particular example, we were looking at the probability of being less than the one sixth. There can be other examples where we have greater than or not equal to a particular probability. So we need to look at those, so I'd urge you to look at how we handle those ones. In this particular example, by the way, when you have a less than, we often call this a one-tailed hypothesis test and we're looking at the lower tail. Okay, so we'll be looking at upper tails and what we call two-tail hypothesis tests in later examples.